so hello friends welcome to my new video so today in this video i'm going to discuss with you all about a very important topic that as an optometrist we all should know that is about ocular axis and angle so we all should have the proper idea about different types of ocular axis and uh, the angle made by this ocular axis to each other okay so that we are going to discuss in this video okay so let's start so axis of the eye there is three types of ocular axis are there first of all optical axis then visual axis then fixation axis in the next slides i will uh, show you how these axes are made okay and angle there is three types of angles are there angle alpha angle gamma and angle kappa okay so let's see how these axes are also made and how angles are made okay so first of all suppose this is our eye okay and this is the cornea fine now let's uh, start with the optical axis so optical axis is that axis which pass through the center of curvature of all refractive surface of the eye so that is called as optical axis so this is called as optical axis okay this is passing through all center of curvature of all the refracting surface that is called as optical axis now here is the fixation po uh, point okay this is the center of rotation this is nodal point and uh, sorry it should be on the optical axis nodal point and this is here is the pupillary center okay pupillary center means center of the pupil so the line pass through the nodal point which start from the fixation axis the line uh, start from the fixation axis that pass through the nodal point and reach to macula okay this is called as visual axis okay and the line which start from fixation point and reach to the uh, uh, center of rotation of the eye that is called as fixation axis okay and pupillary axis is the line that start from fixation point and reach to pupillary center that is called as pupillary axis so these are the three axis so this is the optical axis okay this is optical axis optical axis means the axis that pass through center of curvature of all the refractive surface that is called as optical axis now let's move to the visual axis visual axis start from the fixation point okay and end at macula and it pass through this is the nodal point this is nodal point okay this is called as visual axis now uh, what is fixation axis so fixation axis start from the fixation point this is the fixation point okay and here is the uh, optical center okay so here this is optical center fine so the axis which start from the fixation point and reach to the optical center that is called as fixation axis so here uh, this is the fixation axis okay fixation axis okay and what is pupillary axis so pupillary axis is that axis which start from the fixation point this is the fixation point and reach to the pupillary center it is pupillary center this is the pupillary axis okay now let's uh, discuss about the angle so for that we need to draw this diagram again okay so let's draw this is our eyeball and this is cornea fine so first of all we need to draw the optical axis so this is the optical which should start from here this is the optical axis now let's start from angle alpha so what is angle alpha so angle alpha is the angle that is made uh, that is in between the angle of optical axis and visual axis so visual axis i told the uh, axis that start from the fixation point and reach to macula through the nodal point that is called as visual axis okay so the angle form between this is called as angle alpha okay this is called as angle alpha fine now let's move to angle gamma so angle gamma is the angle that is formed between the optical axis and fixation axis so the fixation axis here the axis that start from the fixation point reach to the center of rotation of the eye wall that is called as fixation axis 
and the angle form in between them is called as angle gamma g a double m a okay this is called as angle gamma okay so now lastly the angle that is formed in between the optical axis and pupillary axis that is called as angle kappa so here is the pupil center okay so here the angle form between these two axis is called as angle kappa fine so this is angle kappa so these are the three axis optical axis visual axis and fixation axis and the three angle that i told you that angle alpha angle gamma and angle kappa okay so that's all friends thanks for watching and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and i hope this video help you to understand different ocular axis and its angle okay thank you so much